Stone Division actually does have the best emote, though. <laughs> Forgot his name. Apex, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Forgot the name. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. I love okay. it. It's funny anyway, so don't don't worry about it too much. I think it's a, it's a really good name. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you okay. so much for this entertainment. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this go started. I was just messing around with this. Oh my god, Marikachi, why is your name so long? Let me change this to a P. That should, so. that should save it. Oh, nice. That fits really well into Yay. that square. Oh, there we go. You. Now it's hey, good. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Palatina versus the Pokemon trainer. No real surprises here. Shark immediately jumping around like a bunny, like being in <laughs> yeah. Grand Swan Lake. It's like I'm playing Call of Duty back in 2005. Jesus. Yeah. Stop oh, I jumping. All you need to do is like a mid air crouch. You know? <laughs> I actually, um, I kind of forgot. We're gonna have three PTs in, on the stream in a row because Mjork is also a PT player, and they're next. So. Uh... Well, we're gonna put them head to head and see who's the best. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a pretty popular character, so. Um... One yeah. thing I definitely do think that we will see from Shark, um, I think that uh, Pebble can really contest any of uh, Pokemon Trainer's hitboxes with dash attack, so I think we're going to see quite a bit of those. I mean, I'm not saying I contest everything with dash attack because I, it's I, I, ridiculously I mean, good. It's yeah. so good. And um, I, feel, I feel like this... Um, I've, I've played this matchup quite a bit, I, at both ends actually, and... Um, what you definitely want to do is stick with Squirtle as long as possible. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of like being a broken record here, but in this matchup, it's ex it's especially true because Palutena out camps Ivysaur. You're just biased against water Pokemon, man. You're gonna play Greninja. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> nah, you're absolutely right here. Squirtle, definitely the best choice here. Just allowing yourself to dodge all those crazy aerial hitboxes here from Palutena. And I don't think Charizard is the option at all. Unfortunately, also missing a lot of kill moves. Uh, I saw Charger using that backer and the up smash both oh, missing. Oh, 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 no. the on the, on on the whiffed F tilt. All right, like, then. The, the wow. glue sniff into the fireplace. <laughs> Here we go, baby. What a... That's okay, some that premium that... glue right there. <laughs> that, was some, that was some spaghetti, like this, the mist, the whiffed spawn dodge with the whiffed grab. Yeah, both of these players so hungry for the kill. Like, <laughs> yeah, but Charizard already got one, so... Yeah, he's just sticking with it, which I like. I mean, you're at 160, Zard is probably going to be your best bet, because anything, like, you breathe on Squirtle, he's going to die right now. Yeah, but isn't it the same at this point with... Okay, no, that would have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> there I, I we mean, go. I mean, you just sneeze on Squirtle, it's like, Squirtle, <laughs> you just die. Whenever you, just, <laughs> yeah. you, you could look at Squirtle, that poor thing just flies off the stage, honestly. Sneeze on Squirtle, can Squirtle maybe, got can poisoned. We, <laughs> can we get something like a donation incentive so that Amy, because Amy, your Squirtle impression was really good, so you cast the rest I of the I didn't even try, or... I don't oh, want to no. do it, I don't want to oh, do it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, if there's an actual incentive, I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, well, trip, let's try. Do oh, no, 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 yeah. no. <laughs> Alright, the, uh, the frame one switch gonna help out Marakachi there. Gonna switch back to Squirtle, yes. Definitely the best play right here. Um, now, we are going to see more Squirtle. Now, actually staying Squirtle after the 60% where he usually goes into Ivysaur. Now, that Ooh, was that actually a good switch. Using the invincibility to get back on stage, crossing it with the Nair. Just trying to get around the pressure that Palutena is uh, just using right there. Going for the back throw very likely now in the same position. I wonder how he's going to oh, come back. Oh, wow. wow. Bit of okay, what the hell DI. was that DI? Yeah, a little bit of I mean, I was about to say. I was what is it to do with people and DI? Come on, bro. <laughs> I mean, they're playing on stream. It's the nerves, you know. Uh, no. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Marikachi, no. no! That's so unfortunate. No. Why? Reversing the up B does not grab the ledge because... I'm just going to say that, it, like, normally I would say, oh, that was a very unfortunate move. That was just bad. I mean, that was bad. What? Yeah. It's a best of it's a best of five, so that it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it does have some that wiggle that room, would, but... Ugh. That shouldn't feel good for Marcochi. Like, Definitely just, not. I'm, just, I mean, just because there's wiggle room, wiggle, bleh, wiggle room doesn't mean you want to use it. <laughs> Talking is hard, I swear. <laughs> I know all about it, trust me. Um, but yeah, no, it's... Um, 
I mean, Shark was already in the league, looking kind of clean, but it was kind of neck and neck, and it's just unfortunate to see that happen, but... I feel like um, they both played the matchup relatively well. I think that uh, Shark did very well in um, avoiding Squirtle's burst range and just staying out of that a little bit and just walling with those very strong aerials. Um, yeah, no, one like, thing I've... Sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, the one thing I've definitely seen from, uh, from Shark um, is a little bit panicky around the ledge and Maracachi definitely playing very well around that, staying calm uh, reacting to those kind of scare, scared options uh, trying to get back to mid stage um, so I would like to see Shark calm down a little bit in certain situations yeah, Shark playing really panicky indeed and you saw, uh, yeah exactly what, what Amy said, like Maracachi playing really comfortable in, in this event, just, just switching around his Pokemon, just <laughs> brewing a cup of tea, just chilling out, and uh, unfortunately he dropped his uh, his, his focus at the, at the most crucial moment, but yeah. we're gonna see if he can pull it through in game two. Uh, oh, that's a jump so gone. Okay. Machine combos. I was really well, scared that Marikachi didn't realize his jump was gone. That could have been horrible. Um, but <laughs> hands on the wheel. Thank God. Um, all right, it's going to be Squirtle actually finding the openings a little bit, pressuring Shark. But he, wow, I don't understand. Like Shark was on the ledge there and was just trying to find a way back to center stage, and Marikachi just dashed back and said, "All right, here you go, bro. Go back to central stage." Uh, Squirtle's just being polite. <laughs> I mean, Very I mean good turtles boy. are pretty polite, so uh, Mark Archie just showing that off. I mean, I think Mark Archie has to stop being so polite because Palutena will is just a very gold digging bitch who will just, uh, just <laughs> she'll abuse that. Oh, Extremely that rude woman. Jesus. That was a really good point. Really good awareness from Shark here, just catching all the options here that Mark Archie had. I'm just getting the De first spot here in this second game. Yeah, already a big Definitely, lead. And yeah. Sorry, what were you yep. going to say? Oh, no, that, uh, yeah, Shrug is indeed just playing very comfortable right now. Just realizing he does not have to be the aggressor, honestly, because mm -hmm. Marcocci is giving him all the chances he needs to retaliate. Yeah, for sure. And I, I also kind of feel like I haven't commented on the stage pick yet. And I've talked a lot with Yessa about Palutena stages, because, you know, I played her as well. And we both kind of feel like this is potentially her best stage. Um, I mean, I can completely agree with that, yeah. So I, it's I, kind of sus to see Marikachi uh, counterpick to it, you know? Um, but maybe he's very comfortable here, I don't know. But uh, I would not advise going small battlefield against Palutena. No, absolutely not, because I have seen Shark counterpick himself various times, so obviously he's not a stranger to this stage, but at some point you have to just leverage, like, leverage two things. How good is it for the other player, but how comfortable am I on the stage? And apparently Marikach is comfortable enough on the stage, mm -hmm. or he just doesn't really know about Palutena's strength on this stage, which is uh, could be a very costly mistake of getting the first stock here after taking 100 and damage almost losing his own stock. One I would also love to see from uh, Marikachi is trying to catch the landings a little bit more, um, like just feeling a little bit more con uh, more sure of himself doing that. Because you know, um, you can basically see him be scared of the back air. He's trying to just very carefully catch that landing, just realizing I do not want to get hit. I mean your Charizard, you can just go in there Flap those wings, do the uh, up smash, and it will hit. But unfortunately, gets it better right back right there. Yeah, and but I do want to uh, comment on Marikachi's jump uses with Zard there, because there were like two situations where his, his jump usage and just being very patient with it got him out scot free of this advantage, which was very nice. But yeah, as you see, Shark still in the lead. At such a commanding start of the game that it's kind of rough for Marikachi to get back in there. Yeah, exactly. And, and uh, how well has Marcotti has been playing around his disadvantage? His advantage leaves a lot to be desired because you just saw Shark on the ledge again, and Marcotti uh, dashed back, not even opting for a ledge option here. Oh no! Trying to and getting the explosive thing into the up air it makes for a very clean two stock here. Shark, very, yep. very much in control in this uh, fourth set of the day. Yeah, for My sure. 
on the verge of seeing our fourth promotion here today. Mm -hmm. And I do yeah, have some insights on the yeah. bands here. So um, Shark having banned uh, Battlefield, Yoshis, and Lilats, um, which I can get because um, triplats are relatively uh, pretty damn good for PT, I want to say. And I this. Thank you for the. Oh no, sorry. This don't count me again. What? Thank you, dude. Your support is amazing. <laughs> You've been supporting the stream so much. Thank you. Um, that, yeah. I mean, could we... What's that? Um, maybe colors or something would have been a bit better for a PT? Or... Uh, I'm not sure. I think... Yeah, I think Absolutely. Kalos is not bad for Palu either, but maybe it would have been better for uh, PT. I, I'm not too sure about it, but we're gonna go to Pokemon Stadium 2, so back to game 1. Ooh, you have that insider information. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> you sly fox. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's all for whenever he's, he's uh, gonna compete in the uh, snow, he just knows. You're gonna pick this, aren't you? <laughs> I know you, I know you. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he moves his glasses and then you see that shine going through, like, okay, it's okay, Oh my god. And, um, Erwin, thank you for the. What is that? The four subs. Thank you, dude. Dear lord. You guys are supporting me so much. Thank you. Um, Pixel's uh, is prepping his own, like, his own image. That's such what an early KO! Oh, it's so early! It's so early. This, this may be the start of Mario Kart's going back to this game. Yeah. This is the game where he can change the momentum back to himself. I mean, it could very well wow. happen, yeah. This is the change kind of it. things that starts a reverse 3-0. <laughs> Exactly, and exactly. um, we're no stranger to seeing that. It, it happens so often in tournament, where one person just loses oh, no. grip of the game and starts panicking. Oh no, I'm losing. Oh no, uh, I need to bring this back. And that's the moment where your opponent can make use of your... Alright, so... I mean, uh, scared. Uh, chat very rightly pointing out that we are playing on Pokemon Stadium 1 instead of 2. And I'm not sure if that was done on purpose or not. I, um, you know, we're just gonna let them play this game out. And we'll see. I already asked in the chat whether or not they uh, mind playing here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of rough. And Ziltoy, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. I actually it. had the same thing yesterday. I accidentally selected Pokemon Stadium 1 instead of Pokemon yeah. Stadium 2. Like if... A very common mistake. Mm -hmm. If they're both okay with it, then, you know, we're just gonna let this game count. Because I, I see no reason as to, you know, really be a very strict bitch about this, so... We'll see. I, I always say, like, if, if there's a problem, we should say it before you play the match, because else it could be yeah. influenced by whether you win or not, because yeah. it's kind of a dick move to say, I don't like it, because this wasn't the stage I wanted to play up when you've already true. lost on it. True. Yeah, true. Also, um, pointing, going to point out that Marikachi used the armor going through the back air of Palutena killing her, um, the previous stock. Now, um, Shark <laughs> losing, um, kind of momentum here still. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was... definitely making use of it. Yeah, Shark just had such a bad start. It's very, very rough. Um, trying to make amends for it now, trying to make do with what he's got, but... Marikachi, very nice down throw of B, that's a good combo. Tries to go for the cheese again, this time Shark. Very wise not to uh, be early. Nah. And honestly, honestly, we see him be so much more comfortable. You can see it in his play that he's playing so much more, um, more sure of himself. Honestly, oh, no. not, yeah. he never went for that a uh, B earlier. Now that was just very unfortunate. Yeah, that was once again a, a miss input. I feel like um, Marcucci <laughs> twice now as Dean using a B. Because that was I basically in his DMI book. Wanted to go for flare blitz there. Yeah. Um, but that is the equalizer that Shark needed in order to maybe bring this game back. So let's see what will happen. Oh, that was, oh, that was such a crazy read. If he got the F-Smash there, that would have killed. Yeah. Unfortunately. He actually, he actually read the air dodge there really well. Like, we're seeing a completely different Marikachi here. Like, aside from yeah. that miss input, he's just been playing so much better here than the first two games. Yeah, but now he's looking a little bit greedy. We've already seen two Squirtle up smashes, which is a rare move in itself. And seeing two of them is definitely not a good sign, I don't think. But, playing very well now. Getting the grab on the roll. Down tilt, no two frame. Yeah, he finally does try to oh. go. 
get in that the was upper. Really into the upper. He finally does decide to go for the two frame option, which I think is really good and is really going to help him in the later stages of this set, probably because it is. Politena, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Shuck, but I think Politena's Abyss is one of the most easy moves to two frame. It, uh, it depends, um, because Palu can actually kind of influence how easily, uh, how easy it is to two frame. If you do it completely horizontal towards the ledge, it's almost impossible to two frame. Um, but if you do it straight vertically, it's a little bit easier to two frame. And if you ride the wall with it, it's the easiest to two frame. So okay. it depends. So the more vertical you use it, the easier it is to two frame. Yeah, and don't count me. You you are just gift subbing all of the money right now. Thank you, dude. Um, this, that, guy is, uh, this guy is making you some money. The three subs and the warp star as well. Thank you. I, I don't know. Oh, wait, that's uh, that was one of the don't count me's gifts. But still, Jesus. I'm kind of... Uh, <laughs> you guys are just going at it with the subs right now. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so right now Marikachi trying to make the reverse 3-0 miracle happen, trying to defend his spot, um, but Shark's not making it easy for him. How no, many it definitely isn't, and we noticed from previous games, I think you might have noticed as well, Shark, uh, he has been using the Squirtle quite a bit longer, mm -hmm. uh, maybe realizing that it's working out quite well. For sure. And, uh... <laughs> What? These two are just going at it with the gift subs. Uh, That's insane. Pixels Realm, thank you again for the two subs. What is happening? I mean, these guys are just in a betting war here. <laughs> I'm. I mean, Shuck is just like, please stop. Oh, <laughs> I'm just like, just Twitch money. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> I'm just very surprised by this. But let me check the sub count. We are at 43 subs right now. Oh my god. That's thank you crazy, guys. Man. That uh, is insane. I mean, you deserve. You've been, you've been doing really well with these streams. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you've, been, you've, been, you've been putting in the hustle, man. That That is true. I have been putting in the hustle. You gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> you gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> Ervin with the Twitch paid me out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, Pixel here getting money for uh, for returning to Cap every fucking five minutes. There we go. Another... Rabbit, thank you for the <laughs> gift sub. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? All right. Let's get in it. Let's get into game four. Let's see if Marikachi can bring it to a game five or not. I, I would like to see another game five today. <laughs> would be very, Definitely. very nice. I would love to see him defend his spot, honestly. Just for once, you know, just defend your spot instead of a promotion. Yeah, it would be a nice mix up. Okay, actually, Shark going to Kalos here. Yeah, a bit interesting. I uh, wouldn't have expected that either, but um, both players were okay with the uh, PS1 play, by the way, so uh, yeah. They just uh, gonna accept okay. that. So I w I w okay, let's let's try to theorize a bit because obviously, like, uh, I I think the bands were Battlefield Yoshi's small Battlefield then. I think. Um, Battlefield. So let me see. It was FD small Battlefield and Smashville. Those were the bands from okay. Arcachi. Oh, so not opting here for Battlefield. Okay, that is yeah. the first time I don't see a Palutena going for Battlefield when it's open, but. Shark might have a reason for that. I mean, Shark did ban Battlefield, so it, I mean, I guess he really dislikes that top platform being there, you know. Can aid Zard in uh, getting an up throw kill early, uh, if you're not watching out for it. But for the rest, I feel like it's a very strong Palutena stage as well. But right now, this Kalos pick working out. Oh god, oh no. Fire, when <laughs> fire. One thing I'm uh, oh, oh, noticing free. from Shark right now, playing very well around Marikachi's uh, defensive options. He's been just grabbing left and right, just catching those options the whole time, uh, realizing he needed to go for uh, a flare blitz there. Well, didn't need to, but based on the previous games, you could kind of um, know that he would use it there. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely a shark is catching on to the habits of Marikachi. Yeah, and right now Marikachi, you know, he was very patient and disadvantaged in the, fir in the uh, first three games even, I want to say. But now, uh, in this game, he has been a little bit more antsy. He, uh, we saw some bad switches, which were called out by Shark. We saw the bad Flare Blitz going to the stage instead of trying to, like, air dodge to the ledge or just a being. So, all in all, I feel like the thing that's working against him right now is his disadvantage, which usually is pretty good. Yeah, exactly. 
And uh, we have also seen. Some... Ooh. Is that, gonna be... <laughs> oh, that is not going to be a kill. So Marcus, you could have oh, really there we wanted go. to use that. There he goes to up the out of shield kills. And uh, what I do notice is that Shark, and that is a common theme uh, through the night, I've seen. Uh, why isn't Shark camping like crazy? <laughs> yeah, th th that's the thing I think most people lack these days, knowing when to just, just camp. Like, we have a lead. Mm -hmm. Why would you approach? You have literally no reason to. Your opponent has to try to get in. You can just be that very annoying person say, you know what? Come to me. Yep, and that's when you can punish okay, mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Why, why bother trying to force something when you can just you can just wait and, and respond to every option they can throw at you. And mm -hmm. the back throw here, not killing just quite yet. Charizard, big beefy boy, but the explosive flame will finally get the third uh, the third stock of the match. Or is it the yeah, it's the third? Wait, it's the third. Yeah, yeah it's the third stock of the match. Oh, Jesus, my, <laughs> my brain is fried. Man. I know these, these stocks are flying by left and right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like some drool coming out of my mouth. It's it's the glue. Anyway. It's the glue. Yeah, too much those of it. Those flare blitzes did something to you. All right, shark still in disadvantage. Markash pushing this, jumps into the up B. Oh my god, and just like this, this is the Ivysaur snowball that can happen. Um, finds his way over the F smash though, very nice to just wait and see what Marakachi was gonna try. And this is the time to retaliate. Yeah, exactly. One thing I would now love to see, look at uh, look at Shark doing all those short hops. Now, I really would love an up smash out of shield, but starting to squirtle, I'm not sure why. It Go was probably it. just a disadvantage mix-up, like there, but it's right. it's rough trying to land against Palu with PT. Yeah. Oh no. And that is the fourth promotion of today. Shark also yeah. going to platinum. Congratulations to Lars.